Hi, I'm May Laura Brody. This is the making of Melusine, part three. This is my latest artwork. In this section, I finish off and add zipper edging to her scales, her many scales. My next step is trimming right close to where I was stitching, but not on. To, but not through, as we say. It's actually okay if I accidentally cut one of the stitches because I'm going to stow this edge two or three times more before I'm through. My next step is to take this later and melt the edges. This is going to seal in all of those edges and keep them from fraying. Because this is polyester, it melts. Polyester and nylon will melt, cotton, silk, and linen will burn. I want to be careful here. Polyester and nylon are oil-based fabrics, which means that when you melt them, they give off toxic fumes. So I'm doing this outside which is great. If you are doing it inside, then maybe I suggest doing something like put opening a window and having a fan blowing on you so all the air blows out. I also want to be careful because I am literally playing with fire. So, you know, fire burns. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're not actually melting yourself or hurting yourself. If I'm doing big batches of this, I might want to use something like leather gloves to protect my hands, and then I put everything down on a surface that doesn't melt or catch fire. So now that the edges are trimmed and melted, I'm ready to add zipper edging. I really like the contrast of that metal zipper. It pops the edge nicely, but the colorful zipper is fun too. This little foot is really great because it lets me get right up close to the zipper. That little cutout lets me get close to the edge. I don't want to get too close though, or I'm going to lose a lot of needles because I'll hit zipper teeth with my needles and they'll break. So I'm starting to sew and I'm holding the scale right up close to the edge of the zipper. I'm doing it a little slowly so that I can curve around and follow the curve of the scale as I sew with the zipper. Readjusting wherever I need to. going all the way to the bottom. Once I'm done with the sewing, I snip my threads and turn this over and I want to trim out all that extra zipper stuff. I just trim all of that stuff away. I'm trimming close to the stitching, but not all the way up to it because I don't want it all to fray and disappear. And when I get down to the bottom, I can trim the zipper right in between the teeth. I don't want to cut the teeth, because then I'll dull my scissors really bad. So now it's sewn and trimmed. I'm ready to line it. So I fold this fabric back right here. So I'm covering the back and I start to pin it into place. Okay, now it's pinned. I'll turn it over, put it under the machine, position it so that the foot is right close to the edge of the teeth and start to sew. Back stitch a little at the edge and keep going. When I get to a point where the pin is, I feel underneath and pull the pin out. Sometimes I will just, however, sew right over the pin, which is not really a big deal. All right, to trim this, I'm putting the scissors right close to the edge. Sometimes I will actually trim one layer of fabric first and then get back in and trim the second layer. Kind of depends on how the fabric is behaving. This one's a little bit fussy, so I may have to go back and forth on it. When this piece is done, I will have one more scale for the growing pile of scales. Thanks so much for joining me. Next time I will share how I built Melusine's lower half.